The person who writes for fools is always sure of a large audience. There is no doubt that life is given us, not to be enjoyed, but to be overcome, to be got over. No one writes anything worth writing unless he writes entirely for the sake of his subject. Men are by nature merely indifferent to one another, but women are by nature enemies. Almost all of our sorrows spring out of our relations with other people. We seldom think of what we have, but always of what we lack. We forfeit three quarters of ourselves in order to be like other people. Life is a constant process of dying. All truth passes through three stages. First, it is ridiculed. Second, it is violently opposed. Third, it is accepted as being self-evident. We can regard our life as a uselessly disturbing episode in the blissful repose of nothingness. Politeness is to human nature what warmth is to wax. Everyone takes the limits of his own vision for the limits of the world. No rose without a thorn, but many a thorn without a rose. If a man does not love solitude, he will not love freedom, for it is only when he is alone that he is really free. It is a clear gain to sacrifice pleasure in order to avoid pain. Ordinary people merely think how they shall spend their time. A man of talent tries to use it. There is no doubt that life is given us, not to be enjoyed, but to be overcome, to be got over. The difficulty is to try and teach the multitude that something can be true and untrue at the same time. Satisfaction consists in freedom from pain, which is the positive element of life. Happiness consists in frequent repetition of pleasure. Every possession and every happiness is but lent by chance for an uncertain time, and may therefore be demanded back the next hour. The safest way of not being very miserable is not to expect to be very happy. Money is human happiness in the abstract. Wealth is like seawater. The more we drink, the thirstier we become, and the same is true of fame. It is difficult to find happiness within oneself, but it is impossible to find it anywhere else. The two enemies of human happiness are pain and boredom. The greatest of follies is to sacrifice health for any other kind of happiness. A man can be himself only so long as he is alone. The closing years of life are like the end of a masquerade party when the masks are dropped. In our monogamous part of the world, to marry means to have one's rights and double one's duties. Wicked thoughts and worthless efforts gradually set their mark on the face, especially the eyes. It is only at the first encounter that a face makes its full impression on us. Mostly it is loss which teaches us about the worth of things. The word of man is the most durable of all material. Nature shows that with the growth of intelligence comes increased capacity for pain. 
The difficulty is to try and teach the multitude that something can be true and untrue at the same time. The brain may be regarded as a kind of parasite of the organism, a pensioner, as it were, who dwells with the body. After your death, you will be what you were before your birth. The more unintelligent a man is, the less mysterious existence seems to him. Sleep is the interest we have to pay on the capital which is called in at death. To desire immortality is to desire the eternal perpetuation of a great mistake. Life swings like a pendulum backward and forward between pain and boredom. If we were not all so interested in ourselves, life would be so uninteresting that none of us would be able to endure it. The longer a man's fame is likely to last, the longer it will be in coming. Because people have no thoughts to deal in, they deal cards and try and win one another's money. Idiots. A pessimist is an optimist in full possession of the facts. If you want to know your true opinion of someone, watch the effect produced in you by the first sight of a letter from him. It is with trifles, and when he is off guard, that a man best reveals his character. Great men are like eagles and build their nest on some lofty solitude. Conscience accompanies every act with the comment, you should act differently, although its true sense is, you could be other than you are. Every nation ridicules other nations and all are right. It is only with the highest degree of intelligence that suffering reaches its supreme point. The only freedom that exists is of a metaphysical character. In the physical world, freedom is an impossibility. Boredom is just the reverse side of fascination. Both depend on being outside rather than inside a situation, and one leads to the other. Life is a constant process of dying. Each day is a little life. To live alone is the fate of all great souls. Truth is most beautiful undread. In action, a great heart is the chief qualification. In work, a great head. Honor has not to be won. It must only not be lost. A sense of humor is the only divine quality of man. Time is that in which all things pass away. Talent hits a target no one else can hit. Genius hits a target no one else can see. That I could clamber to the frozen moon and draw the ladder after me. One should use common words to say uncommon things. A high degree of intellect tends to make a man unsocial. Reading is thinking with someone else's head instead of one's own. Hope is the confusion of the desire for a thing with its probability. Pride is the direct appreciation of oneself. To overcome difficulties is to experience the full delight of existence. Change alone is eternal, perpetual, immortal. Hatred is an affair of the heart, contempt that of the head. 
Treat a work of art like a prince. Let it speak to you first. Will minus intellect constitutes vulgarity? Music is the melody whose text is the world. Any book which is at all important should be reread immediately.